Hello everybody. We proceed with the very thin cut on the block. Tough shot, obviously. Um, the easiest way to pop this one is top spin medium pace because top spin medium pace cancels the throw even on this very big angle. So here is the shot. Top spin medium pace middle on the white or just millimeter right hand side spin but just millimeter right hand side spin well it wobbled a little bit but still it's in um this is the easiest way to put this one and to be honest if you try something more with the cue ball here Obviously, the chance of missing that black becomes very, very high. So, most shots here have to be pacey because the black is not going to reach the pocket. Um, paradoxically, the throw on very thin shots is not that much as the half ball. So half ball throws more than very thin shots. Um, because of the toughness of the shot, I don't recommend to play it with a lot of power, uh, sorry, a lot of side, unless it's a soft screw. So now I'm going to play this one with soft screw and lots of side to cancel that, that throw. So this is soft screw and soft shot. And again, you see, I missed it. So it's, it's a tough one. It's a tough one, especially if you play that, that slow. Um, to be honest, if you want to pop this one, use the medium pace top spin and, and don't go for anything more than this. Just play safe, guys. Just just play safe and and forget about forget about this black. Um, top professional players are playing safe here most of the times. But if you want to get it again, here you go. Top spin, just fraction side, medium pace. And you can see the black goes in. Unfortunately, the cue ball went in as well in the pocket. So that's five of seven, you know. These blacks, they're tough. Um, let's go for the high blacks. High blacks now. Um, very, very, super, like, mega important shot is the high black. You have to learn all of them high blacks. Almost straight high black. Very common shot is to play top spin, two cushions. Very common shot. Here, you play middle on the white. If you are playing on very slow tables or slow cushions, you might use touch of right hand side, which is check side. And this makes the pot a little bit tougher, but not so much as the black is almost straight. So it's not a big problem if you play top spin, a little bit of right hand side. I'll play top spin, middle, middle of the white, center of the white, top on the white, but center, no side. Just to show you the most common shot here on this black is this one. So, middle on the white, no side. And you play two cushions. You make position for a red around here. Actually, I'll put a red ball here so, so I can show you many examples uh, in terms of cue ball control from the high black. So here is the, again, the almost straight black ball. Most common shot is top spin, two cushions. You make position for this red. Other shots are where you have red about here. If you just want to drop it in, not big of a problem. You're going to subconscious overcut it just a little bit, but that's subconsciously. You play middle of the white, just drop it in. No problem. Okay. 
So now if you play the soft stun run on this one, almost straight black, um, which is going to be just to hold the white here for this red. And you're going to use touch of side, just one millimeter left hand side. So this is a soft stun run, just one millimeter left hand side. It's almost invisible, it's so little, you just want to ensure yourself that you're not going to hit the right hand side uh, on the cue ball, which is going to cause a miss. <clears throat> so now the soft stun, again, same idea. Just one millimeter left hand side. So this soft stun, one millimeter left hand side. So the cue ball went a little bit more closer to the red. Previous shot, cue ball was about here. So these two shots are pretty much the same. If you want the soft screw back, so let's say you're you're here on the black, almost straight. You want soft screw back for the red. And again, you're gonna use just touch of left hand side, just millimeter, almost invisible. I over it slightly, but still very good position on the red. So that was just one millimeter. <coughs> Sorry, left hand side. Um, if you if you want to use more power here, because the the side spin is just so little, it's just one millimeter. There is no problem. Um, just just use that millimeter side. So here I'm going to stun run one cushion here on the red, and I'll use just a touch of left hand side. It's powerful shot. I just want to make sure I'm not hitting the right side of the cue ball here. So the side spin is so little that <clears throat> It doesn't take any effect when it hits the cushion. And yeah, that's that's perfect position under it. Now I'll use the soft stun, uh, sorry, the hard stun. So angle is not very big and I need to power it in. Again, I'm using just one millimeter left hand side. Now I make position here on the red to put the red for the same uh, pocket. Uh, not perfect position on the red, but this shot is not, not very easy to play because you have to power it in. Now if you want to screw back and you're slightly high on the, on the black, unfortunately you're not going to be in position for this red. So this shot is not very commonly used, so you don't use this one a lot. You're going to screw back. I'm going to hit the cushion about here. So you might, you might use that shot if you have two balls like that here. And you didn't get in good position on the black because you would like to be slightly higher on the black to open the reds off the cushion. But if you're like this on the black, you want to screw back into the reds. So again, I'm using just one millimeter left hand side just to ensure that I'm not going to hit the right hand side on the cue ball. So this is one millimeter left. You open the reds. A bit unlucky, probably, but still I have some shot. If I'm on a century and I'm on 80 break, I'd be quite happy with this shot, to be honest. So this is the almost straight high blacks. So th this was um, the very thin cuts on the black. And uh, I start with the high blacks, almost straight high blacks. Next is going to be the three quarter bow black. <coughs> Sorry. 
three quarter bow black, high on the black, very important. Three quarter bows and half bow high blacks are super important. In the next video, you'll see commonly used shots and how to pop that black. So stay tuned. Next Sunday is the next part of the black ball pattern guide. Thank <laughs> you.